Hello ladies and gentlemen. So now what I want to do is I want to look at this example 37 divided by 5. Okay. So first I want to do it um, the way we've been doing it and then again I'm going to show you the long division notation because I want us, even though we're not using this yet, I want us to get used to it. Okay. We're going to see that that when we transition into larger division problems it's going to be easier. We're going to be using this more aggressively, more systematically. So 37 divided by 5. Okay, what does this lead to? So the first thing we need to do is we need to find, right, what is the biggest multiple of 5, which is either equal to 37 or which at least does not exceed 37. Okay, so 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 8 is 40. Aha, look at that, right? We saw that 5 times 7 is 35, and we saw that 5 times 8 is 40, right? And if we look at that, we can see, aha, this one does not exceed, this one exceeds. So we know that the quotient here must be 7. Right. Okay. Now we ask the question, by how much does the number we're dividing exceed the biggest multiple, the 35? Well, we know that 37 minus 35 is equal to 7 minus 5, that's 2. 3 minus 3, that's 0. So we can see that 37 exceeds the 7th multiple of 5 by 2. Okay. Although I haven't said it explicitly, you can see from our discussion that the remainder is always either zero when the division is perfect, when the division has no remainder, or positive. The remainder can never be negative. Okay. Okay. So for example, here, uh, this is our result, of course. And Again, as I mentioned before, whenever you see a division result, I want you to always think to yourself, aha, what does this mean? This means that I can write it as 37 equals to 7 times 5 plus 2, right? Your quotient times the number you're dividing by plus a 2 will equal the number you're dividing. Okay. Okay. Right? Now we're going to look at it via the lens of the long division notation, okay? The long division notation, we want to do 37 divided by 5. So we place the number we're dividing by on the outside of the house, and we place the number that we're actually dividing inside the house, 37. I want you to hear the way I describe this thought process. By the way, that's another thing too, whenever I'm solving problems, I don't know if you notice that I'll say certain things a certain way. And I always want you guys to pay attention to that because that's also reflective of the way I'm thinking about these problems. And therefore, right? So we place the number that we're dividing by on the outside of the house. And we place the number we're dividing inside the house. Now again, I want you to think about, I want you to hear the way I'm going to describe this thought process. And whenever you're watching me do the problems, you'll hear me use a certain verbal, verbal description of what I'm doing. And I want you to think about the two because you can either use that as a template or you can think about it in a similar way and then you will understand how to do it better. Okay, and you'll understand the idea. If you notice what I'm saying, usually will follow the idea of what I'm talking about the operation. And so that understanding what we're doing, like, you know, not just mechanically, but what we're trying to do will help you to retain the material better, right? So I asked the question, does 5 go into 3? It doesn't, right? Does 5 go into 37? Aha, it does, right? We look at our multiplication table. Five, we, you know, we went through it earlier, so I'm going to go through it quickly now. 5 times 1 is 5, times 2 is 10, times 3 is 15, times 4 is 20, times 5 is 25, times 6 is 30, 
times 7 is 35, times 8 is 40. So we know it's 7, right? So we place 7 here. And we have, the, we place the 7 over the, over the 7 of the 37, because we saw that 7 times 5 was 35. So the, so it, so the 5 fits 7 times into 37. 7 times 5 is 35, like this. So now, here we perform the subtraction, okay? 7 minus 5 is 2. 3 minus 3 is 0, okay? And whenever you reach this stage, this number will be your remainder, okay? So 7, remainder 2, okay? Okay. And you can see this matches with what we did before. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much.